So where can you buy a $37,000 souvenir, take a $250 shot, or a $12,000 day tour? Disney World. We've got all the details on the most expensive things to do in Disney World for you here on DFB Guide today. Let's win Disney World. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Vlog. We thought we'd do a fun one for you today. We want to calculate kind of the most expensive day in Disney World or basically the most expensive things you can do in Disney World because I think some of them are going to shock you. So we did a lot of research, we made a lot of phone calls. We wanted to see really, really what the VIPs can do in Walt Disney World and here is our list. So the first, of course, you've got to sleep somewhere. So what are the most expensive rooms in Disney World? Well, right now, as far as the rooms you can actually book, of course, you can't book that Cinderella Castle Suite. That one doesn't actually get rented out by Disney. It's only given out by Disney. So as far as places you can actually book to sleep for the night, the most expensive place right now is the Polynesian Bungalows. Now, these are, of course, those overwater bungalows over there at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. It's a two-bedroom, two-bathroom, overwater suite, full kitchen, TV in the mirror in the master bath, plunge pool on the deck, front and center views of Magic Kingdom from across Seven Seas Lagoon. This one sleeps eight. It is part of the Disney Vacation Club, so you can rent it with DVC points, but at rack rates, this room will run you between $2,700 and $5,000 per night. Now, Disney has several other $2,000 plus a night rooms, including the Steeplechase Suite over at Boardwalk, the Presidential Suite at the Contemporary, and the Royal Asante Suite at Animal Kingdom Lodge. So now if you add an in-room celebration, which of course you would do, you can get a $550 Mickey and Minnie's Grand Magical Welcome, which comes with a character door banner, champagne flutes, beach towels, ear hats, and more. And this extra can be added onto any Disney World Resort room if you've got an extra 550 bucks burning a hole in your pocket. Okay, so you can't stay in the Cinderella Castle Suite, but you can buy your own castle in Walt Disney World. Well, okay, it's not a castle you can live in, and it's just a replica, but it is a replica of Cinderella Castle. You'll find this crazy expensive limited edition Cinderella Castle at the Arribas Brothers Crystal Arts Shop in Magic Kingdom, and they also have a shop in Disney Springs and two in Epcot as well. So this is encrusted in 28,255 Swarov. Swarovski, it's so hard to say that word, crystal stones. Each stone is hand set by an Erebus artisan. Now this comes in a custom metal case. I know you guys walk right by this and you're like, they don't actually sell that, do they? Yeah, they totally do. It comes in a custom metal case with a certificate of authenticity. There's only 50 of them in the world and one of them could be yours, 35G. Okay, next you've got to eat, right? So you're gonna go to dinner at Victoria and Albert's, which is of course the fanciest and most high-end restaurant in Walt Disney World. So the dinner price itself, while it's high, isn't something wildly out of the ordinary for a fine dining restaurant. The chef's table at Victorian Alberts, which you guys know I love, will set you back $250 per person while you add on a wine pairing for an additional $150. So there's $400 per person with the chef's table and the wine pairings. Now, of course, there are a few crazy expensive upgrades that you can add, like the $120 Polar Iceberg Water, which is a 4,000 year vintage. They have to go up to the iceberg and tap it for water, and it can only happen at certain times of the year or something like that. It's really fancy. So $120 water. And of course, not surprisingly, their wine list has a few shocking prices with several bottles over $6,000. The most expensive one that we could find was $13,000 Pomerol Chateau Le Pin 2005. It's a Bordeaux red blend, in case you don't know that already. And of course, you can do a dessert add-on for a $1,000 glass of Port Vintage from 1963. Now, if you'd rather dine off-site and spend a little bit more money, you can head over to Kappa at the Four Seasons, which of course is still on Disney World property technically. A several-course dinner for two would run well over $1,000. So $355 caviar, $108 oysters, Wagyu at $32 bucks an ounce, and a $60 lobster, and you're already topping out around $750 before drinks and dessert. 
Now, of course, you need an after-dinner cocktail, so you're gonna head over to Cava del Tequila. Now, you know, this is one of my favorite places in the world, literally, to hang out. But I usually settle for, you know, a margarita and some queso when I'm here. Be aware that at La Cava, they have some high-end stuff happening over there. And I know the guys who are buying that tequila for La Cava are very, very picky and very, very particular about the tequila that they choose. So La Cava right now has both a $207 Supreme Tequila Flight and a Cuervo 250 Anniversary, which is $250 for a single shot if they have it in stock. Now, if tequila isn't your thing, you'll find some high-end rum and whiskey over in Disney Springs. Most of these items don't even make it onto the menu. They're reserved for VIPs, so you will have to ask for them. For example, Enzo's Hideaway has been known to carry exclusive rum and whiskey like Johnny Walker Blue Label Ghost and Rare. And Morimoto Asia has sold out of their extremely rare Yamazaki Mizunara 18-year Japanese whiskey. Only 5,000 bottles were made, and each bottle prices into the $4,000 range. So none of that for you, it's sold out. Now, how are you gonna pay for all this stuff? Of course, you're gonna use your $300 gift card. This is a Swarovski encrusted gift card. It's the ultimate show off piece. Like I said, cost 300 bucks. Now, Swarovski artists developed a brand new way to adhere crystals to the entire face of the card, something that had never been done before because you don't want any of those 2,500 premium Swarovski crystals to fall off. This one comes in a custom collector's gift box and it's loaded with 90 bucks. So it's not just $300 for, you know, nothing. It does come with $90, and that's redeemable for practically all things at Disney. Don't worry though, it has a barcode on the back so you don't have to swipe it. Now, apparently this is just the first in a Disney Collector gift card series, so don't be too bummed if you missed out on it. We'll be seeing more absurdly expensive gift cards very soon. Okay, now this one is my favorite. If you want to take a yacht out around Seven Seas Lagoon, you can do that. So the Grand One Yacht is docked at the Grand Floridian Resort, and you can take up to 18 of your best friends. FYI, you can only take 17 of your friends if you choose to bring along the butler, which yes, this yacht has a butler, for a waterside tour of the resorts around Magic Kingdom or for views of the Magic Kingdom fireworks. Now, of course, you can add on private dining to any of these cruise experiences, but that is gonna be in addition to the $400 per hour that you're gonna pay for the yacht in the first place. Place. Okay, now if paying for all this stuff piecemeal just doesn't work for you, think about the VIP tour of VIP tours. This is the World of Dreams tour. It just debuted. It's a $12,000 tour for up to six guests for up to 12 hours. This one is completely customizable. You can basically do whatever you want. You can include photo sessions, a visit to the Cinderella suite. Can't stay there. You can visit it. Special viewing locations for nighttime shows and fireworks, dining and attractions. Meals and snacks are included with meal options, including some of the most popular restaurants, quote unquote. But note that your park tickets are not included. So if you're going to go into a park, you do have to pay separately to the $12,000 for your park tickets. Now there is private transportation between the parks and you can add on extra days of this ultra VIP tour for just 10 grand per day. So 12,000 for the first day, 10 grand for each additional day. But don't forget, you still gotta buy your park tickets for all those additional days as well. And of course, your regular old VIP tour, if the $12,000 tour isn't for you, will run $425 to $625 per hour with a minimum seven hours. So the least you'll spend on that is gonna be around three grand, but it won't get you into Cinderella Castle Suite. All right, now the ultimate way to spend a ton of money at Walt Disney World is of course getting married there. I know some of you did it, some of you spent that money to have your dream wedding in Walt Disney World, but you really can spend an arm and a leg on getting married there. Custom engagement packages start at $7,500 and that's before the ring. Pricing varies on different elements, whether you want a low key romantic evening or a show stopping day. So the lowest priced Disney World wedding starts at $3,500 $500 for about four people, in addition to the couple, for a small one hour ceremony. Prices shoot way up for larger groups and exclusive settings. So, a ceremony and reception in Magic Kingdom's East Plaza Garden will run you somewhere upwards of 75 grand once all your food costs have been factored in. That's not including any of those extras like arriving in Cinderella's carriage, that's $3,000, having Mickey and Minnie show up, $1,650, or three of your favorite prints 
processes $2,150 for just 30 minutes. You can have your ceremony in the Magic Kingdom after hours starting at $50,000. Yeah, that's just the ceremony. No reception, no food, no nothing. And Huffington Post has reported that you can rent out all of Magic Kingdom for your reception starting at $180,000. I have no idea if that's true or not. That is what Huffington Post says. So yeah, you can drop some serious cash on a wedding in Walt Disney World, so be prepared for that, dads of daughters. So there are some of the most expensive things to do in Disney World, the most expensive things to do at Disney World. We think this is so much fun. We'd love to do any one of these things. Let us know in the comments what your dream day at Walt Disney World would look like. We'd love to hear it. As always, this is AJ for Disney Food Vlog, and we'll see you real soon.